some bit of Minecraft. All right, and it looks like we're going to be getting into the game right here. How old is D-Dog? Looks Def young. He definitely looks very young. And one <laughs> exchange I do remember him from was when he was fighting HBox on Wi-Fi, and then uh, he, that's when HBox got DQ'd from like MSM or something. Uh, and D-Dog's like, let's play it out anyway. <laughs> like D-Dog definitely doesn't want those free Ws. He wants to work for his wins. But there we go, the crit forward smash. Very unlucky Speaking here. Speaking of free double eight. use. <laughs> Oh, man, that's a definitely brutal right there. You love to see the crit, man. That's a good RNG. Go buy a lottery ticket. Ooh. I like that combo. 53% onto VV. But, I mean, we saw what happened to that stock. It just went away. And, I mean, there was some RNG involved there. You know, Hero is one of the only characters in this game where RNG is a factor. Although Steve also has a little bit of RNG, right? Uh, Some it, materials? Uh, I'd say it's stage dependent. It's pretty consistent, though. Ooh. Okay. Oh, do not tech roll in right there. D-Dog going to make it even stocks. And... Oh, where are you going? Okay. Oh, where oh. are you going? Yeah, one more for good measure. Oh, we're trying to get a low recovery, but instead, good recovery from Vivi to avoid that spike. Good job shielding that, uh, <laughs> that particular move. Has a win box that will suck you in. Yeah, I definitely like the character choice a lot, mostly because, again, bounce is going to be something that's going to be a really good answer to the minecart. That being said, like, it seems that we're still seeing a lot of melee options from D-Dog. You know, just wants to use for Steve's, honestly, decent frame data to just duke it out. Oh. Yeah, even though bounce came into effect, it was actually still led him to an opening. Yeah, yeah. Uh, still very fortunate luck of the draw right there. Just what they needed in the nick of time. And uh, this two stock to two scenario, man, this is looking kind of scary. Yeah, complete. Oh, diamonds are now uh, in effect. And there is no MP for VV. Yeah, yeah, VV has to kind of just play a little bit more patient right now. Now he has enough MP that probably, yeah, going in isn't as much of a risk. Yeah, that's definitely a big deal right there, the MP on a hero. But though, wow. Perfect use of the MP to get that buff and the forward tilt's gonna be enough. Oh wow, yeah, this is, kind of, this is definitely a great choice. Cause isn't Divi usually like Lucario? Uh, so apparently he's been playing a lot more. Uh, yeah, co-main, yeah, the, more hero, but there are matchups, I think like Sonic for instance, where he will without question go Lucario. Ooh, that almost did it right there. And once more bounces in effect, yeah. Magic Burst, is that going to be it? No. Yeah, low but mana, Magic Burst, but amazing percent. And this is such like a... Because it's... The fact that he's at zero MP means that D-Dog wants to be approaching, but BB knowing that... Okay, right there, actually, really good pick up at the down air. But he was doing a great job of walling him out once he did run out of MP. No. Well, KO screen off the minecart at zero? Minecart forward air at zero? This game, dude, it likes to make that mental damage or something. <laughs> yeah, and this is, Steve has that built-in comeback mechanic. The fact that by the end of the game, usually, he does, in fact, have the diamond weapons. All this of a sudden, taking the lead. What oh, happened, dude? He had no MP. Yeah, like, Vivi's kind of been playing fast and loose with his MP, so... I mean, it definitely it's, you know, when it works, it works, but that is the risk that you might get hit when you can't afford to. That was uh, quite a situation right there, man. I don't know what happened, but, uh, yeah, the air dodge, I guess, and the MP, you're right. I think they thought they could make it with the air dodge distance, and that's going to be the game one going in D-Dog's yeah. favor. I think that Zoom would have cost too much MP that even Zoom wouldn't have been it, right? Oh, no, no, Zoom's kind of low maintenance. Like, but he had, like, only, like, 9, 10 MP. I think that thing's going to have been enough. Uh, yeah, when he went to look for it, that was kind of what... Because there is more of a possibility that you, if you are, like, airborne, you can get Zoom more commonly. Uh, okay, yeah, uh, that's what we got uh, telling us from production. The closer you are to the bias zone, it raises your opportunities to get, more, like, Zoom better. Ooh. Great job this time around. D Dog doing a much Ooh. better job. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, doing a much better job getting in on VV. VV trying to go for all these cheeky little down B moves, and oh, they're oh. leaving him wide open. Love this chase from D Dog to apply the extra pressure. Not able to get any zoom out, and now in a bad situation, very low mana. Oh, I didn't get the forward smash. 
This is still Wooden Sword, so I don't even know whether that would have killed, but... Nonetheless, really healthy lead for D-Dog right now. Ooh! Yeah, trying to get that spike into the conversion, but no, that's not going to be it. The stock continues to be held onto. D-Dog now trapped at the corner, been very consistently stuck there for the past minute, I'd say. Vivi, it's kind of coming alive right here, especially with all of these buffs. With Accelerado, he's trying to get in, but D-Dog not really giving him huge opportunities. That being said, been doing a much better job of hiding those minecarts and that sort of thing. Yeah, both these players making this first cut stock actually last a very long time. To the point where, at some point, we might have to think about timeout. I mean, we're pretty far from it, but at the same time, uh, all right, going to be taking the stock right there. But if D-Dog wants to really slow it down, I mean, that might be a decent call, especially considering the fact that we had almost two minutes for that first stop. Yeah, we're seeing a good a level of respect from D-Dog, and then uh, the comeback Ooh. that they made before was kind of... Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> was, that, was that actually Kamikaze, or was that Hocus Pocus? That was... Oh, I missed it. I guess we'll see uh, on the replays, because they, they could have been going for a draw or just a misclick, but either way, D-Dog is going to take them to the bank. I mean, yeah, that's... That's a st <laughs> that, was, that was just a crazy situation and not one that you want to do when you're in loser's bracket and you're down a stock. Yeah, oh, speaking of, yeah, that thwack and whack, always something you have to be scared of, even when you have a massive lead. That the <laughs> oh, my goodness, dude. Enderman uh, getting knocked out of there, especially with the crit. See you later. I mean, without that crit, that wouldn't have killed, I don't think. <laughs> it's it's so so much luck right here from Vivi, but gonna need a little bit more if they want to take a game here because they're taking a lot of hits. Look at both these guys. Oh, they're starting to go back and forth, and this is the situation that D Dog wanted to be avoiding. He was up by quite a bit, especially after that Kamikaze, and even now looking pretty solid, especially with Diamond weapons. The kill power, the threat is real. Oh. Man, this game is just so full of surprises, man. We got Hero and Enderman here on PS2. And Enderman really close to going up 2-0. Yeah, and Vivi being pretty brave, just shielding right in D-Dog's face. Knowing that, you know, the crap oh, knows from, oh, is that going to be it? Oh, wow, the air dodge actually went all the way through the magma block. No way. Are you done? Oh, this misses. <gasps> but the no mana. That's the second time that low MP has really cost Vivi. And I mean, it's the sort of thing where it makes sense of, you know, he's trying to use his resources as much as he can. However, maybe, especially considering the fact that, like, you had time on your side to oh, slow things down. You see it right there, using the thwack just before the command grab activated. Yeah. And then the, the sound effect of the no more magic. Yeah, can we get to replay on that Kamikaze kill? <laughs> the dual kill. Yeah, let's see that menu right here. Yeah, yeah oh, absolutely, yeah. Why? Good, why? Oh, man, just a bad draw. Why? I mean, he went up twice for it. Do you think he was maybe, that was a misinput? Uh, <laughs> it definitely is a reason why they're here down 2-0 now in a loser's top eight now. Uh, it sucks too, because like, honestly speaking, it looked like Vivi was an advantage for both of those games, but just uh, a couple of misplays, misclicks, misinputs, whatever you want to call it, and uh, d Dog sitting 2-0 here. Oh yeah. no. Ooh, big damage from that. But, oh! Uh, dash attack can't crit, can it? It's only the smash attacks? Smash attacks, Hatchet Man's always going to crit, uh, but yeah, it's, it's the smash attacks only. Yeah, and the sort of... Oh, that thwack. <laughs> Looking really scary. Just so menacing, man. Yeah, D-Dog, again, kind of playing a little bit behind, but uh, Vivi has to close out these stocks, and uh, Vivi, I think, is just wasting a lot of the MP as well. Yep. Kind of had to be predictable with his recovery right there, and D-Dog was ready for it. 125%, not really a place he can be too comfortable at, but... Also, Hero's neutral in general is 
kind of lackluster uh, until he gets, you know, the buffs on him. So, yeah, just playing the neutral well might be able to give D-Dog uh, a lot of extra damage. Yeah, yeah, this is a very long stock for D-Dog. Playing very cozy right here. Potentially going to uh, get another stock here. Oh, what attack, though. Oh, oh, but he has almost oh. no MP. I love this chase from D-Dog. <laughs> Finally going to hit the mark with that. Now VB showing signs of life. I mean, that was he was at very high percent. That was kind of almost to be expected. But once again, we have VB with almost no MP. He can't really be using any of his specials right now because he knows that if he gets hit once with those diamond weapons, he's going to be sent really far off stage, and he needs to save at least a little bit for recovery. Yeah, just as you say, now setting this ledge trap, very little magic in general. With it. I love that option right there, getting back to center. Yes. We have a diamond in the back, so even when this diamond weapon expires, he's going to have access to another one. BB can't take any more hits. Yep, Fresh is it really smart. Oh, this is very scary. Yeah, and I mean, I like the fact that BB is slowing it down partially, you know, to just make sure that he has MP to spare because that's been a limiting factor for him. Oh, in some of the games, this set. Oh, What's the you're choice here? dead. I, I'm not sure. Um, he could have cycled for Hatchet Man. I, I think that would have been the play, honestly speaking. Definitely had a little bit more time than he thought. Oh, it's still gonna get that extra damage. And the what? offstage edge guard, amazing double fair with Accelerado. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I forgot that that's his sleeping animation. There's so I'm honestly glad that Hero was added to the game because then we might be able to see more of the beautiful sleeping animations that you normally never do. In compare, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Uh, is this even Smash Bros anymore? I don't even know. I want off Mr. Ender's Wild Ride. Oh, my goodness, dude. And now, oh, wow, get use that up here. Just get out of the corner. And uh, VB has a real shot at getting a game on the board here. Okay, yeah, right, nice. Seeing as soon as balance expires, he's going to go back to using that mine card. Oh, a kaboom. That's Huge. another kaboom. Uh, VB playing with a lot of control here. Oh, the shield's Boom. so tiny. Oh, <gasps> catching the landing, though. Oh, what? that was... I, I love the idea behind it, but VB able to counterplay by instead landing right on the blocks. Yeah, yep. Yeah. playing a little bit of Minecraft right there. Going to stay a little bit safer with that extra footing that they have off of the stage. That heal, actually pretty big. Considering the fact that, yeah, like these these diamond weapons no. really No! That's it. <gasps> oh, we didn't get the spike. Blood trap coming out, though. Oh, no, you gotta get back up. What are you gonna do? You're submitting so much MP! Oh, but it works out to their advantage. Now they're glowing red here. Oh, bounce. bounce. Watch out. Looking this, for the up tilt. This also means that he can't. Nice. Yeah, yeah. That up tilt right there coming into play. Um, that also means he can't down air when bounce is in effect, right? Because the downer is considered to be a projectile? Yes, absolutely. That knock it right back up. So uh, I, that's a point on the board for Vivi. And we're getting. All these games are just last hit scenarios. And uh, so far they've swung in the favor of D Dog. Unfortunately, D Dog not able to close that out with a 3 0. That's the kind of thing that you want to do is like you don't want to drop any games if you are going to close it out because now you're giving Vivi some momentum. <laughs> yeah, that was he, it. Was his edge guard and then getting turned around on him? That's another thing that you, especially against a character like Hero, who has a really fast up B, you have to be careful about overextending off stage or you know any of the combos in general. Just the fact that ooh, that fast move can turn that situation right around on you. Oh wow! And you're gonna miss that magic right there, and uh, just keeping this whole set up here. See, it's huge. Oh my goodness! I'm surprised. Uh, I actually, a little more damage now would have been the stock. <laughs> he hasn't chosen Hocus Pocus once. Coward. Facts. Oh my god, yeah, gets a good grab though. Into the conversion. Oh. Amazing use of the Accelerado to get the bonus uh, mobility. <gasps> he only went for the first hit of uh, Forward Tilt. I'm not sure exactly why he didn't commit to the second. 
Oh, but the fact that that he didn't means that D-Dog with the stage control gonna be forging new weapons, but not reacting that time around. Or maybe he even got sucked off of the, uh, the little block he was on top of. That almost killed him. Oh yeah, that was very close to taking the stock, and now what do we got here? Two stocks to two. Oh, sorry, three stocks to two. Of Eevee playing with a lot more control as they have been seemingly for most of this, but this is been D Dog clutching it out most of the time. So we do have the. Okay, no, because reforming, I think that's steel weapons now. <laughs> oh, watch out though. Uh, <laughs> I like how he didn't even mess around with that, you know, the, the, the neutral be coming out of him. It's like when your mom is like, just don't look at it. Just keep on walking. Yeah, D-Dog's been doing a really good job of uh, actually just getting the control. No way. What? 47% underneath the platform. That is huge. And Vivi potentially going to bring this to a game five. Potentially. Yeah, that's definitely looking like the case right now. Oh, <laughs> yeah. D-Dog really eager for this kill. Needs to make it happen immediately. Yeah. Still high, high amount of, like... Uh, RNG luck so far in this entire set. Two crits, two thwacks, and uh, I don't know, man. V all the luck is on VV's side today. D Dog, nice job. Yeah, that's one thing that the minecart does. You know, it, it, yes, it can function as a, you know, it functions as a projectile and can get reflected by bounce. At the same time, we also have seen D Dog just use it as a movement option to, uh, Get in nonetheless, and how is he still alive? He's at 181%, got smacked in the face with diamond weapons, and Vivi doesn't even care. Yeah, no care in the world, but uh, oh, wow, he has to be a stock on top finally. D Dog, though, it needs to uh, do a lot of work if they want to just close up the set. Oh, Diamond's gonna help, though. 55%, just like that, real quick combo. That's possibly the beginning of a comeback, and wow! <gasps> The forward smash, that thwack just barely missing. And now this might be the beginning. 89% on D-Dog, but VV have already taken 48 off stage. So dangerously close, that's gonna be it. Wow, what a comeback factor from D-Dog. Uh, getting the 3-1 and eliminating. Uh, oh my god, hero right there and at 3-1. I was so convinced we were gonna see a game five right there. I was so, so convinced. But How? D-Dog just keeping himself in it. Two forward smashes with the diamond, what, diamond weapons. This yeah, was the last one right there. And you notice uh, the way he placed his blocks, created this little staircase, preventing him from really going to ledge. I think maybe it was possible that he could have gone, recovered really low. Um, yeah, yeah. Like gone too. down and like almost Squeezed stalled as much ledge. as he could. Mm -hmm. uh, but just kind of baited him into going high right there. And that's going to be D Dog, who I really hadn't known much about him before tonight, but he's just doing a fantastic job. Really great results. He's kept himself alive he's in guaranteed fifth place right he's in losers yep. quarters top six now finally and then uh outside of this tournament i heard he's picked up wins like on jackal and other amazing tri-state players so uh d-dog on the come up again the first time i heard of them was a crazy msm dq situation uh involving hungry box but uh yeah a lot, there might be some h boxers in the chat yeah remember that moment so d-dog making a name for himself here in tri-state which is again a really hard region to make a name for yourself in